Let's go. You should always say folk. Ballers and ballerettes. How y'all doing? Coach Max with you. Scorpion Academy episode three. Today, guys, we're going to talk about team chemistry, team spirit, because I believe that nowadays it's super, super uh, important that we talk about that because what I see now is that a lot of, a lot of kids now uh, from 11 to 19, uh, they want to play uh, the hero ball, they want to be the guy, the girl, they don't pass the ball and they don't trust their teammates as much or they're having arguments during games like hey why don't, why don't you pass me the ball why why are you shooting the ball pass the ball you don't know how to play i'm better than you i mean real talk guys is this how are we going to win games are we supposed to win when we're having that type of chemistry uh, on the team and now you're going to ask me like, okay, so what's the connection between mental toughness and team chemistry? Well, a collective mental toughness as a team is, a, is a, the greatest asset your team can have. Hands down. Hands down. If you're like 8, 9, or 12 guys or girls on a team, and you guys have that collective mental toughness as a whole. You're going to win games. That simple. Not only are you going to win games, you're going to win the tough ones as well. Overtimes. Or tie game. Two minutes left in the game. Or you're down five. You're down ten. There's two minutes in the game. Try to make the greatest comeback ever. It takes that collective mental toughness as a whole in order to win the game. Now is not the time to be like, why is he taking the shot? Why is he dribbling the ball? Why I can take the shot. I can dribble the ball. But is, is that your strength? Or are you just being selfish and decide, the, and decide that you just don't want to be a team player. Because by doing that, you're shutting down the whole chemistry of the team. If you don't like a guy or a girl on your team, you're having issues, you don't like you don't like his, 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 his demeanor, the way he talks, or why he's taking the shots. He's always taking the shots. The coach is making him taking the shots. Instead, you should better like ask him and said, what is it that you do when you train in order to make shots during games? Like, can you tell me what you what exactly do you do when you practice? What's your secret? Because I want to make shot as well. I want to be like more involved. Not that you're not, but you want to you want to go to the next level, right? But if you don't have that team chemistry, if you're not a team player. You're not going to ask these questions. It's all about sacrifice. But the team itself will always be in sacrifice mode. Because there's a lot of things that you have to left to the window in order for the team to win. Collective team effort. Collective mental strength. So, what are we going to do now today? There's a few clips I'm going to roll for you guys. It's my it's it's my guys and me. We're playing games and there's a few things that you will notice that represents that team chemistry. It's it's right there. You need to pay attention and look at it and you will understand what I'm talking about. Cuz everybody is backing everybody up. Every, uh, backing everybody up. You got my back, I got your back. We all have everybody's back. We work for one another. That's the thing. That's the goal. You want to win games, you always should have that mentality in order to win games. Otherwise, you're not going to win games. 
you're going to have problems more than that. All right? So, I'm going to roll the clip. We'll be back after. Yeah, baby. One, one. I got that. I got that. Do 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 tag him. Let's go, baby. Yeah, we need to score the ball. Why did it, did it, did it, did it? Sank me in it. Baby, oh my goodness, that was beautiful. Baby, that was nice. So, ballers, ballers, guys and girls, what did we learn? All right, what did we learn? So, as you were able to see, uh, you saw a lot of we saw a lot of things, right? Um, I guess there was a, a an attack from the other team. I got screened. Sweet Pete came over 
took over my guy, we switched turnovers that we we caused uh, on the other team, playing hard on defense, always switching, staying active. We are playing for one another. That's what we're doing. And on the other side of the ball, when we were on offense, um, that's the thing that was important is that um, we saw Uncle Drew at a certain moment. He, he took a jump shot. He missed it. I grabbed the board, gave the ball back to Uncle Drew. He went for a layup. He missed it. Then you saw Sony Black going up, grabbing the board, try to score and get fouled. At a certain moment, if you pay attention, I was having an eye contact with Uncle Drew and I'm like, and that's that's the problem that you guys have now is that everybody's screaming at one another like why did you take the shot why are you always shooting the ball pass the ball to me you're not good i'm better than you and there's always this this fighting about who's better on the team is guys is this the way this is not the way you want to win games, you have to keep that crap away from your team, guys. Team chemistry will not be built on that type of behavior. How can you win games if the guy you're next with or the girl you're next with, you're not comfortable playing with? You're not comfortable playing with that person. So suddenly you're supposed to build chemistry with that type of behavior, that type of attitude, and hopefully you'll get something going, which is not true. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. This is not how it works inside a team because we're supposed to be one. We're supposed to be a unity. We're supposed to be a whole, right? It's not only like 9 to 12 guys or girls. It's, it's, a, it's, it's a package deal. It's a whole. It's everybody. We're one. But we should play as one and win as one. Doesn't mean you, you, you're going to win all the games. You you win some, you lose some, guys. But even in defeat, you still play as a team. You cannot be worrying about who's taking the shot. Why is he dribbling so much? I can take the shot. And then because of that, you see your teammate, he's wide open in the ba on the baseline. But because you think that you can take the shot, you're not going to pass him the ball. That's bad behavior, guys. It's just not good chemistry. It's not chemistry at all. You're just like giving him, giving, you're giving a look. You see him, but you're, not, you're acting like you didn't see him and you take a shot. Most of the time, it's a bad shot. Because, oh, he's taking all the shots. I'm taking shots too. It's, a, it's, it's just a bad attitude. This is not going to take you anywhere. Collective mental toughness is the greatest thing a team can have. This is how team win games. They win championships. This is how you win championships, guys. You want to be like the next level team who wins championships. You win banners and rings and stuff like that. Collective mental toughness. The greatest thing ever. I give you a challenge, guys. I'm challenging you now. If ever you see your teammates again, all right, first thing you need to do, take a seat, get sit on the floor, everybody, circle it, circle it up, and act like you never saw each other before today, right? It's the first time you see all your teammates. You never saw them before. And then introduce yourself to them. Hi, my name is Max. Um, I'm a point guard. I play two guard two as well. You know, my strengths are this, 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 and that, and this, and that. And my weaknesses, the things that I need to work on and is this, 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 and that. And somebody else will follow and introduce himself or herself to the team. Trust me, guys. This is a good, good trick, a good way to add points to your chemistry. I'm serious. You want to have, you want to start building chemistry with your, with, your, with your teammates. This is the thing you need to do. It's a good trick. And oh, suddenly, 
we starting to know who is capable of doing what and whoever needs to work on a few things or we can back you up in order to to hide that that weakness that you have on the court so that the other team won't see it because it's all about that schemes you know that's what you need to do second thing guys don't only do the practices with the coach or the coaches right if you have three team practices during the week it's fine but bet but between that do something else go do some activities with your teammates don't don't stay home and then and they stay home you playing video games you playing Fortnite and call of duty or 2k or whatever but your teammates is at home he's not doing anything or he's doing the same thing as you 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 guys are not connecting you're not communicating outside the practices you're not doing it and that's what you need that's what i do with my guys sometimes we're like yo let's go watch a, a basketball game or a, a, a boxing the boxing night we go over your place you come to my place we're not going to talk basketball it's, it's not an obligation since that everybody's there we talk basketball we can talk we can talk about a bunch of stuff but the fact that we all here together give the chemistry it gives points to your chemistry it's it's a building up process you're building up chemistry you know team spirit you know and so at at this level what's going to happen is that you won't have to 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 scream a play to your teammates it's eye contact i know what you're going to do i know where you're going i don't have to look at you i just know what you're going to do and then poof the pass just poof, it's gone but in order to be capable of doing that you need to spend time with your teammates guys that's what you need to do so i'm gonna leave you on that if you want to try the challenge, try it, but trust me, it's, it works. Yeah, it's a good icebreaker for many other things to build your team chemistry, your collective mental toughness. All right. So in the meantime, since we're done, thumbs up, notifications, subscribe to the page, guys. Show some love. I'm, going, I'm giving you a lot of love, right? So see you for episode four. In the meantime, guys, we keep working. We keep grinding because that's what we do. Ball is life.